Hello, my name is Tyler Young and I work with Go Engineer Technical Support. Today I'm going to be showing you a new feature inside um, SolidWorks 2013 and that is the orientation dialog box. So when we're here inside SolidWorks we can just uh, click on the spacebar and that pulls open our orientation dialog box. This was present in previous versions but you will notice that the layout is slightly different. We now have our regular front right top left views here and then our offset views we have here off to the side. Um, and this is just a real quick little difference that we can see. We can come through and select all of those. One of the other main differences or one of the new features that they have introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2013 is the view selector. We come back into our window. Up here this icon is the view selector. I'm going to activate it now and you can see what it does is it gives us a view selector box. What this means is if I select one of these faces it is going to, the view is going to update to that angle. And you, It does come back because I now have selected the view selector. If I turn the view selector off it goes away and then I can just select one of our default views again. Um, you might have noticed there is a shortcut. We can hit control spacebar and that just pulls up the view selector and I can select different views. This is the view selector. Let's say we're going to come back here and go to a regular isometric view. What if we want a saved view or a custom view? Um, and we can do that again in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Um, I'm going to rotate my model so it kind of is off to the side. Let's say just like that. Let's say this is the view that you want. Um, we can click the spacebar and then right here we do have um, the new view and this we can add a view. So we're going to click there. We're going to just call this um, my view. We'll hit OK on there and now in our orientation dialog box you see we now have a my view and that can be selected at any time so we can go to the front view and then back to my view. You'll also notice that there is the save button here. We can save these views and I'm going to save this view. So I hit save on there. The view, the orientation box goes away. If I come back into it I'll now see that there are saved views. This my view has been saved. What does that mean? That means that this view can now be used in different models. Let's open up a model inside of SOLIDWORKS. Let's say we want to open up this robot leg. So here's our model. We can take a look at it. We're going to hit the orientation dialog box again. And here we now have saved views. We're going to click on that. And that's going to rotate to that view that we defined in the previous model. This is how we can save views and utilize them between different models. This view will save into SOLIDWORKS for previous, so if we close SOLIDWORKS and open it again, it will still have that saved view in there. So these are some of the updates that SOLIDWORKS has introduced in um, SOLIDWORKS 2013. The um, orientation window we now have the view selector where we get a box and we can select directly from that box. We can save views and then use those views in different models. These are some of the, in, some of the advances that SOLIDWORKS 2013 has made and I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, my name is Tyler Young and I work with Go Engineer. Thank you.